Join us on this six and a half miles kayak from Simmons Yacht West to Monmouth on the Wye River on the 20th of August 2020. If you like kayaking and are interested in the Wye River, then watch on to learn about what we encountered on this route, including the charming villages of Simmons Yacht West and East, Simmons Yacht Gorge and the historic town of Monmouth. Stick around to the end for bonus content, including logistics such as parking, public transport, launch and landing locations, what equipment we used, recommendations for pubs and restaurants on the route, and other useful information about kayak in the Wye River generally. Hi, I'm Carlos, captain of the kayak crew. We are obsessed with kayaking and we are vlogging and blogging our exciting kayak journeys in which we explore the Wye River, the Monmouthshire and Bracken Canal, the Wales coast and other areas. If you're new here, then remember to click that subscribe button. So without further ado, let's jump into the video of our kayak from Simmons Yacht to Monmouth on the Wye River on the 20th of August 2020. We launched at Simmons Yacht West at about 1pm. After passing back past Ye Old Ferry Inn, we then passed the picturesque village of Simmons Yacht East before hitting the wavy stretch at Simmons Yacht Rapids. We continued downstream under the Biblins Bridge and through a steep, heavily wooded gorge. After paddling over some more rapids at Hadnock Island, we turned into the long final straight towards Monmouth, passing members of the Monmouth Rowing Club out practicing. We then saw the rowing club itself looming into view. We landed at Monmouth Rowing Club at about 4.30pm. Well, we just set off from Simmons Yacht West. Uh, it's about 1pm, so we're going to head upstream a little bit and then turn around and come back downstream. There seems to be quite a lot of water in the river, given that it's August. Uh, that's because we've had uh, a bit of rain recently. So we've managed to paddle about half a mile upstream against the current. I think that's because the wind is blowing up from the south, uh, but we're going to turn around and go downstream now. There's a landing stage over there on the right, uh, on the west bank. Um, a lot of these are private though, so you can't just land anywhere. You can see Ye Old Ferry Inn on the right bank over there in Simmons Yacht West. That's where we launched from earlier. We've passed Simmons Yacht West, uh, which as the name suggests is on the west bank to our right. And we're heading downstream towards Simmons Yacht East on the left or east bank. Simmons Yacht East is about half a mile downstream from Simmons Yacht West. You can see Simmons Yacht Rock towering above it. That's the Saracen's Head over there in Simmons Yacht East, a great riverside pub. We're downstream from Simmons Yacht East and you've got Simmons Yacht Rapids coming up so I hope Kiva and Lloyd have brought their armbands with them. Looking back upstream towards Simmons Yacht Rapids, you can see the flags there that the uh, serious canoeists and kayakers use when they're playing on the rapids. We're downstream from Simmons Yacht Rapids now. Uh, they're grade two rapids, so not exactly white water, but they can get a bit racy when the water level is lower than this. When the water level is quite high like this, uh, you certainly get a, a lot of assistance from the current. We're about a mile and a half downstream from Simmons Yacht West now. Uh, I think it's about six and a half miles paddling from Simmons Yacht West to Monmouth. Kiva and Lloyd appear to have landed on the bank over there on the left, so it looks like we're having an early lunch stop. There's a couple of swans and some ducks over there, uh, looking totally not bothered as we paddle past them downstream. We're having a lunch stop on the bank and some of the resident swans have come over to try to scrounge some of our food off us. Looks like some of the swans are going to have a fight to see to get who scrounges our lunch off us. It looks like Kiva is full of energy after his lunch stop. Raring to go. We'll see you in Monmouth. We're about two miles downstream from Simmons Out West and we're coming up to Biblins Bridge. Uh, it's quite a sort of famous and unusual looking wire mesh suspension bridge. I always think it looks like something out of Indiana Jones. <laughs> Uh, so we've gone about two and a half miles along the route with about four miles to go. If you like hiking then this section of the Y is brilliant for hiking because you've got the Y Valley Path which runs right alongside the river along this stretch. It's about three miles down and uh, three and a half more to go. 
It's been wet the last few days, so the river level is quite high. Uh, we did check it from the gauging station's website before we came. I think it was about 1.7 metres. No. I'm scanning the sky because Kiva reckons he saw a peregrine falcon up there somewhere. I can't see it though, so uh, possibly something to do with the cidery at lunchtime. This is my nephew Lloyd's second paddle with us. Uh, the first one was back in June when Sheldon's kayak sprung a leak and he started to sink, although that didn't seem to have put Lloyd off. Captain Kiever on the left claims to have originally founded the kayak crew, although I should add that uh, it's a claim subject to much debate. We've been quite lucky on this paddle not to have been subjected to any of Kiever's uh, spontaneous bouts of singing yet, or my uh, tempting fate. <laughs> Sing it again. Don't ask me what I think of you. I'm at that give that answer that you want me to. We've just been passed by one of the many Canadian canoes that you see hired out by the um, canoe hire companies on the Y, um, especially this time of the year in the summer. We're coming up to Hadnock Island, which is roughly halfway between Simmons Yacht and Monmouth. The river looks quite rapidly, both sides of Hadnock Island. Keeve has gone ahead on the left side and Lloyd's gone down the right hand side. I think I'm committed to following Kiva down the left side now. Kiva hails from uh, this area. Uh, he's otherwise known as Lord Monmouth and um, with his local knowledge he's been just explaining that that estate over there on the right is called Wirestone Lees and um, it was a big sort of uh, agricultural estate and then became a music studio. This um, six and a half mile paddle today is uh, part of our undertaking to kayak every section of the Y from Glasbury all the way to Chapstow. It's been a fairly relaxed and laid back kayak today. Uh, I think we've done as much talking as we have paddling. <laughs> It's just over two miles now until we get to Monmouth. Over on the right hand side there, it looks like Lloyd has got a bit disorientated and has started to paddle back upstream. It looks like the guys are working off the assumption that the last one to Monmouth buys the beers when we get there. So they've gone uh, steaming ahead of me downstream. <laughs> It's coming up to 4pm and uh, we've got about one and a half miles to go, so it's the final straight. The Y River does meander and twist and turn quite a lot, uh, almost doubling back on itself at some locations. Uh, but this um, long stretch now going down into Monmouth looks like a fairly straight one. You can see Monmouth Rowing Club looming into view now about half a mile downstream. That's journey's end for us. Uh, so I've left my car there so we can uh, cart all our stuff back to Simmons Yacht. It's been great weather for kayaking today. Uh, it's actually a lot warmer than it looks, probably uh, low to mid-twenties. It's quite common to see members of the Monmouth Rowing Club rowing on this stretch of the river practicing. We were going to make an application for membership, but I suspect that some members of the kayak crew wouldn't be up to their standards. It's about 4.30pm and we're just landing at the steps at Monmouth Rowing Club. What a great kayak on another amazing section of the Y. Regarding logistics at Monmouth, there is quite a large free car park at Monmouth Rowing Club at the end of the route and we left one car there. No permission is required to land or launch from the steps below Monmouth Rowing Club. At Simmons Yard West, there is a launch point just down river of the river cruise boats Moorin Jetty at Riverway Caravan and Camping Park. Launch or landing fees of £2 have to be paid at the ice cream stall at the campsite. Parking is available at £6 for the whole day or £3 for three hours. There are also launch points at Ye Old Ferry Inn, which is a car park, but you would need to firstly get permission from the pub to use their car park and to launch your kayak from there. At Simmons Yacht East, there is a launch point just upstream from the Saracens Head Pub. The car park at Simmons Yacht East is £5 for four hours or £7 all day. There is a fee to launch or land of £2 per craft and this is payable in the machine on site. We had three inflatable kayaks which packed up small in two backpacks and we left a car at either end of the route. 
If you wanted to use public transport, then you could get bus 34 from Monmouth to a church. The bus stop at Whit Church Roundabout is about a third of a mile walk from the launch point at the Riverway Caravan and Camping Park in Simmons Yard West. Alternatively, there are a number of taxi firms which operate in the area, so you could get a taxi from Monmouth to Simmons Yacht and then paddle back to the car at Monmouth. If you have an inflatable kayak, then you can just put it in the boot of the taxi. If you've got a hard shell kayak, then many taxi firms in the Wye Valley can transport both you and your canoe or kayak, and I've linked some of them below. Regarding pubs and restaurants, these are just a couple of our suggestions. Ye Old Ferry Inn at Simmons Yacht West is a lovely big pub located on the riverside. It dates back to 1473, with charming traditional features, warming log fires and stunning views across the valley. Ye Old Ferry Inn is a great pub. There's a hand-pulled river ferry boat which runs from the slipway along Ye Old Ferry Inn, and this ferries people back and forth from one side of the river to the other. Ye Old Ferry Inn could be used as a good stop-off for a beer and or some food on your way downstream on this section of the Y. The Saracen's Head at Simmons Yacht East is another large old pub on the riverside. Like the Old Ferry Inn upstream, the Saracen's Head has a good selection of ciders and it's also blessed with a riverside beer garden. The Saracen's Head also has the same type of unusual hand pull ferry operating from it that the Old Ferry Inn has half a mile upstream. These hand pull ferries allow people to get across from Simmons Yacht East to Simmons Yacht West and vice versa. The Saracen's Head is another option for a stop off on your way downstream. There are a number of pubs in Monmouth but the Punch House is one of the few that the kayak crew have not been banned from yet. The Punch House is a historic pub with a great location on Agincourt Square in the middle of Monmouth. It offers reasonably priced food and the beer garden out the front is a nice place to sit with a drink looking down the main street of Monmouth. Regarding dangers and issues, this is a relatively safe and straightforward paddle and the only points to mention are the following. Firstly, the Simmons Yacht Rapids are about a quarter of a mile downstream from Simmons Yacht East. These are grade 2 rapids. Rapids are graded from 1 to 6 to put that in perspective. Man-made rock walls have been installed on the right side of the river to modify the flow of the water and provide waves and eddies. We have paddled the Simmons Yacht Rapids a few times over the years and have only found them generally to be a fast stretch of wavy water. Secondly, we would suggest that you always check the water levels of any non-tidal river before you plan a kayak on it. We use the website riverlevels.uk which is linked below and which has live readings for gauging stations along most rivers. It's important to check that the water level is not so high as to make the river potentially dangerous to paddle on the day when you intend to go due to the volume and speed of the flow. This can often happen after heavy rain. At the other end of the spectrum, we have also paddled once on the Y when the water level was very low, almost in the yellow segment, below the usual range, and we found ourselves hitting lots of rocks under the water and bottoming out quite a lot because the river was basically too shallow. Regarding the kayaks that we used on this paddle, we did this paddle in August 2020 when all of the kayak crew were still using Pro Aqua inflatable kayaks. They are Category 2 inflatable kayaks, being made from vinyl chambers covered with a protective outer layer of nylon. There is a separate floor chamber for the Pro Aqua kayaks, which is inserted into the base of the kayak. By mid-2021, we started to finally progress the drop stitch inflatable kayaks and we are doing a video chronicling our progression to better types of inflatable kayak. This journey was part of the kayak crew's undertaking to paddle every section of the Wye River between Glasbury all the way down to Chepstow. This map shows how we broke the Wye River up into the sections for our paddles. The Wye is one of the best kayaking rivers in Europe, if not the world. The total distance between Glasbury and Chepstow is about 105 miles of paddling. There is a public right of navigation all the way from the bridge at Hay on Wye down to Bigsbear Bridge. From Bigsbear Bridge down to Chepstow, the Wye is tidal, so there is a right of navigation on that lower section too. We have split the river up into sections of between about 7 miles to 12 miles during our undertaking to kayak the entire river from Glasbury down to Chepstow. 
We are uploading our blogs of our exploration of the Wye River by kayak to our website kayakcrew.co.uk. We are also uploading videos of all of our trips to the Wye Valley playlist of our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video then please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing by clicking on the left below to get updates of our trip reports and product review videos. Click on the right below to be taken to the playlist of our videos of our trips along the other sections of the Wye River. Please check out our website for blogs of our journeys together with product reviews and other super useful information. If you have any questions then please let us know by commenting below. Happy paddling from the kayak crew.